Welcome to By the Numbers. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. What are we doing with cups and a duck today? Well, this is a great game. Okay. And, and like I said, kids love to play it. And uh, it's something very quick and easy. Uh-huh. Doesn't and take very much, does it? No, it doesn't take much at all. And we're going to talk about cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Okay. Cardinal and ordinal. Okay. Oh, boy. Big words. Got to show them up here. Isn't that amazing in math how we use all these big words We have a in lot math of vocabulary in math that um, some of it's fairly common and some of it is not everyday usage, but they're probably things we really do know mm -hmm. as adults and it's good for kids to know as well. So you're going to do ordinal first. We're going to talk about ordinal first. I'm going to go ahead and put both of them up here okay. and then we'll talk about them. Okay. Okay. Ordinal numbers and cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers. Okay. Okay. You right. also have to be able to spell. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you're doing the okay. writing. Okay. So right now we have ordinal numbers showing because they show the order something comes in or the place something is in, like first place or second place or third place. So, so they, they are show order. Are you first order. in line or are you fourth in line? Or are you, okay, that's usually when we use it. But we could also practice our skills of the counting numbers or the cardinal numbers if we turned the cups around and had the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on those. So we can have first through tenth place and work on ordinal or we can have one through ten and work on the cardinal. Well in this game we're going to use the ordinal numbers. Okay. Okay. And I, we use these styrofoam cups but you could use those little Dixie cups if you used a different kind of object to hide. Right. And, and you can hide anything. Right. Pennies, buttons, beans, Lego brick. Absolutely. I mean, any, any little toy. Any little toy. Anything that, so when you put it under, it's going to fit underneath. So and, and be hidden. And be hidden. Okay, so do I get to hide it first? Okay. So, Renee is going to hide the duck. Okay. And I'm going to close my eyes. And not cheat. Turn around. I don't trust you. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes and, look, they're closed. Okay. I'm not cheating. Okay. And after she hides it, and she's really trying to trick me by, okay. you know, reaching, picking up several of them. Okay. Can I open them? You may. Okay. I'm going to make a guess, okay. and Renee is going to tell me if it's, you can either use greater than that or less than that, but I'm going to, I'm going to take a guess. Okay, you tell me where you think it is. I think the duck is under the seventh cup. You think it's under the seventh cup? Yes. Well, I can tell you it's not under the seventh cup, but it's on a cup that is higher in value or in place than in seven. So that means I can eliminate all these. All of those are eliminated. So by process of elimination, you know it's not in any I'm of those cups. I'm going to flip them over. To make sure I didn't tell you uh, something wrong. <laughs> well, just to help me remember. Okay. I don't have to plant, think about these cups. Okay. Okay. So is the duck under the, I'm going to be smart, I'm going to go ninth cup. Okay. Because by doing that, if I tell you greater than, you know exactly which uh -huh. one it is. And if I tell you less than, it's, you'll know exactly which one it is. Mm -hmm. Or you've gotten it right. Right. Well, guess what? Still not there. Okay. But it is in a lesser place club, cup, under a lesser place so cup. So the duck is under the eighth cup. There you go. Okay. So it took me three turns, three questions to ask. And that's really what you want to do is have your child, you know, you can even tally how many times it took them to figure out where the duck was. Okay. okay. You want to yep. hide it from yep. me? Yep. My turn. How about if we use the uh, cardinal numbers this time? Okay, so okay. you want it turned around Turn to the around. cardinals. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So that we okay. know. Now she needs to value. close her eyes. Okay, and I'm not looking. Don't, don't look. I'm not. Where should I put it to try to trick her? I don't know, but if you don't hurry up, I'm going to look. Uh, no, don't look. Okay. Should I go? Hmm. Hmm. She's doing my trick, isn't she? Okay. Okay. I hope I remember where I put it. <laughs> 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 me, t me, t me too. Me too. And I think we're tearing apart our set here. Okay. I'm going to guess. Hmm. Well, guess what? I'm going to guess halfway in the middle. I'm going to guess the f number five cup. Okay. So keep track. That's one tally. That's one. Okay. You guessed so three, so I, got, I have one. It is in a cup with less value than Number five. Number five. It is less than it's, five. And I'm going to double check you. Okay, okay. So I know that it's in none of these, if you've remembered correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, ooh, I don't have quite as good a strategy Close as you. Close your eyes did. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my it? gosh, she doesn't know where she hid it. Okay. 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 I am going to guess the third cup. Did you look? No, you saw me I was on tape. Yay, oh, two. It took you only two times to get it. But I was, it was kind of luck because at that point I was just going for strategic like you kind of did. So middle. somewhere in the middle so that if I, you said greater than, I only had one choice and if it's less, I had two. Okay. So great fun activity to play with the kids. Helps them with their cardinal and ordinal numbers and their higher level thinking skills. As well as knowing greater than and less than values. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us again on By the Numbers. And you can find more of our episodes at mykidsturn.com.